Today, we'll be using a portable frame machine to repair this 2018 Ford Fusion. To get to the damaged unibody structure, we'll have to remove the bumper, the taillights, and other trim first. Before pulling, we'll take a quick look at how the frame machine is set up and a close look at the damage. These are called pinch weld clamps and they clamp onto this very thick piece of metal with these bolts. So these are clamped on first. There's one here and there's one on the other side. Then there's a tube, this tube right here that slides through and you crank it tight right here and then jack stands. This is what it looks like from underneath. When the frame machine starts pulling, that pushes up against that bar. So it pulls back and pushes forward. Here's a shot from up above of the damage and this needs to be curved. It has to come out like this. This trim piece, well this is what the rear bumper cover attaches to, it needs to look like that. So, something like that. Now each of these have to be flat, parallel to this bumper. So right now it's like at a 45 degree angle. That needs to be flat. This guy needs to be flat, 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 so that we can bolt this to it and the bumper snaps to that so it needs to look something like that. Here's another up close shot and this right here needs to be a nice square rib curved all the way across so we can bolt that bracket to it. Now you can buy this rear body panel and generally that's how it would be repaired. You'd pull this, get it all squared up pretty, pretty close then cut the rear body panel out, weld a new one in. But this rear body panel is a thousand dollars so we're going to forego that get this as close as we can and go with that finally just before pulling this is pushed in quite a bit about four inches it needs to come out to about here and it's the same on the other side here's a close-up shot of that other side we have a buckle here it's pushed in quite a bit right here this needs to be nice and square all the way across and we're going to pull this out too. For the first pull we're going to try to get the damaged bumper to look something like this good used part. And we'll try a different hookup.
The next pull is sort of an experiment. Not sure if it's going to work. This is clamped to the pinch weld. This is clamped to the pinch weld. And I got a half inch extension through there. I just want to spread the pulling across there. So we're going to put that right there and see if we can just get this to come out a little bit. We're going to pull all this sort of evenly. We're not going to pull all one area at one time. While we're pulling back, we'll be pushing with a port of power. And I have a 2x4 wedged against some really strong metal back there.
while we're pulling, we'll stop and check. Make sure this bracket is going to fit on there, right? And this has to fit right because the bumper snaps into that. And so it's looking pretty good. And here's a shot from the other side. Even though we got a new deck lid for this car or a used deck lid, we're going to pull this a little bit to make sure that the hinges aren't bent. We're going to make sure that it fits, comes close to fitting so that when we replace it, we don't have to worry about the hinges. It's hitting up here in the corner, so we're going to keep pulling it back. And our cap is looking good back here. So we'll just keep, keep going. The back lines up and the front lines up pretty good. The other side looks pretty decent, so our replacement deck lid should fit pretty well. Before putting any frame equipment away, you'll want to make sure that the bumper fits, the deck lid, and the tail lights. And here's a quick shot from the other side. We're also going to fix up the rear body panel and the inside of the trunk before putting it together and finishing it up.
Here's a shot of the inside of the trunk. After installing the new parts, and we're still waiting on a tail light for the passenger side, we'll take care of the bodywork and paint it. I hope you enjoyed this video on pulling the rear body panel and other damage on this Ford Fusion. If you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.